Hey everyone, it's Ryan the War Boss from Orcs Paint Shop coming here with you another WOM! In today's uh, video we're going to talk about painting posture and what you should do to be comfortable. Backstory to this video right here is yesterday I was with my friends and uh, we were painting a group of three of us um, and one of my friends is the exact same height as me, the other one's a little taller. When he was painting, he was hunching over and his, say, his butt hurt and things like this. So one thing we noticed is that he's taller than us. Um, and he really was having trouble with painting posture. So we helped him out. We got him a better chair. He said it. We got it fixed. He was able to adjust the height, put it down. So the reason I'm talking about this and going over this is because being comfy when your painting is going to increase your skill. It's going to give you more patience. It's going to allow you to sit there and paint for longer periods of time as well as it's gonna make it easier and it's gonna take good care of your painting technique. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And the reason you do this is because you make your hands steady. And then when making your hands steady, it allows you to get into deeper crevices and cracks. So one thing I'm gonna recommend is get a chair that you like. I personally like these chairs right here, these wooden ones, um, because they're kitchen table, and that's kind of where I grew up painting. So I'm used to sitting in these, plus these chairs are the right height for me, allows me to put my elbows square here, you know, as you can see, I rolled them up just enough so there's padding underneath my elbow and I don't get any paint on it. And then I can pick my mini up and I can go elbows on the table, my back is straight, I have it up at eye level for me, and I go to town. You know, so I can go and I can get in the detail and I can do 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 just like that, no problem, go in here and do 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 just like that, no problem. Um, it allows me to also move the miniature and, and, and as I move the miniature and go back to painting, it allows me to, if I shake, I shake the table, not necessarily the mini, and if it moves, it moves all as well. So like as I'm going, as you can see, the paintbrush doesn't move any closer or any further away from the model. Um, in order to improve your painting, you want to have good paint posture. Now some people like to lean back in chairs and paint on their stomach, some people like to to, to have like a stand hold it and they like to do it a little bit at a time. It's whatever you feel comfortable doing that matters. The way I paint, and I you know I paint a lot of miniatures, I think I have about 300, 400 grots to do in a minute or two, um, which is gonna be one of my other videos. Uh, but the way that I do my painting and my, my posture is always back against chair, flat in the chair, you know, and then elbows to the table, miniature in hand with something to hold, and I can go ahead and do that. So that's good for me, but what about other people? Some people like to stand when they paint, so they get a, a station that's taller and they stand and they lean against it and they just do that. That's good too. Uh, some people like having those comfy chairs and lean back and kick their feet up, which is another good thing to do. Um, but it's all about right height and where and how you're standing, sitting, or laying back. You want to have your elbows, you know, against something that's not going to move, something that's sturdy. The next thing you want is you want all your tools close together, like your paint, your wet palette, your pot, and then paintbrushes. That's good because it allows you to have everything at hand's reach and it saves you time when painting. As an example, I'm going to go ahead and do this gentleman right here, which is one of my uh, work shamans. This guy started a little bit. Um, I haven't had a chance to get back to him, so I'm going to go ahead and get him done right now. So we're going to start off with a different color brown, which is funny. Is I actually didn't grab the different color brown. I used to grab the two browns I used for them, so let me grab the different one. I do use uh, quite a different amount of color brown, so. Uh, this guy is going to actually be not blue. He's gonna reflect the army. He found a blue tapestry he tore down. Wet palette all set. You can see, either elbows flat or elbows in the air. Whatever you're comfortable with doing, it's all about being comfortable. Getting a nice coat. See here, I enjoy 
every bit of painting that I do. He channels the power of the wog. All right, and that concludes painting posture. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. And uh, once again, this is Ryan, the war boss from Orc Paint Shop, coming at you with another wog. Please stay tuned for next week. Next week, we're gonna go over um, airbrush priming. It's just basically gonna be showing you how you airbrush with a primer, I'm sorry, how you prime with an airbrush. Um, I tend to do that during the winter because it's really cold where I am and um, I can turn the van the vent on and filter it all out. Not to mention it gets a, a good coating um, for the miniatures. So once again, give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.